Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is Monday, April 22nd, 2024. I'm the Drunk Pool Crew. Tis beer time. It is a much sunnier day out today. Clear blue skies. Bit of a cooler breeze, but that's okay. We don't mind. A few patio beers will make everything feel just fine. From my stop at the L C B O the other day, comes a new beer from our pals out in Niagara region, Bench Brewing Company, called Ripple Effect Pale Ale. This is a new addition to their lineup. Uh, 5%, sort of a classic pale ale, an English-American pale ale, from what I understand. Uh, the founder of Bench was on the Beer and Bullshit podcast recently. And honestly, I'll leave a link down below. You can go give it a listen if, if you want. Um, they get in deep about their sustainability and their B Corp status and all that stuff. And, and that's been their mission since the beginning. And I was there when they opened. Um, and they got a tour of the facilities and everything, and they take that stuff very seriously. This isn't like a side project. This is part of who they've been as a brewery since the beginning, this sort of conservation. And being in a very, very, you know, important region of, of Canada, the Niagara region grows a lot of our fruits and vegetables. You know, they, they, they take this very seriously. So uh, very cool to hear, but uh, let's talk about the beer. Um, been a while. I saw it, and I'm like, it's been a while, and I heard they had put something out like this. And I'm like, well, you know, I like those maltier pale ales, more of a classic pale ale as opposed to a hazy pale ale. So, you know, that kind of caught my eye. And I'm like, ah, give it a try. Yeah, because you're getting some citrus. A little bit like tea. All right, let's get into it. Cheers, my friends, to new beers from the LCBO and doing the right thing by the environment. Yes, cheers. So I'm going to give them credit right away. This is not a hazy anything. They didn't call it a hazy. It's a pale ale. It is definitely getting some of that kind of bready, doughy malt back. Uh, touches of honey, maybe a little fruit. Definitely getting notes of toffee. There is a, a nice orange, citrus, pithy bitterness. It leans English style because you are getting some of that black tea, which, again... I dig it. I, I think this is actually a good addition to their lineup, which is, you know, it, it, it leans heavier into the hazy. Um, they, they're, apparently, they're going to get back to some of that mixed fermentation, the, the wild the wild yeast, the cool ship stuff. They have a cool ship. You don't know that's an open fermentation that lets natural yeast uh, come into a big tank of beer and just it does what it does. And think about the region there, you know, fruit on one side, grapes on the other. This is crazy. Um, I do like their, their stuff like that. I do like their wild ales. Um, you know, the hazy ale's fine. Their hazy IPA is fine too. But this is more of a, I would almost call it an American-English hybrid because it's a little more bitter than, say, an English would be. But that would fit right in on a Sunday beer for me. And that kind of, you know, this becomes part of the, the conversation as opposed to the focus of the conversation. This is a nice beer. I would buy this again. This goes in that category, you know, I'll talk about it a, a little later. But you look at categories of beer, you know, there's a, a, exceptional beer, there's great beer, there's good beer, there's there's mid beer, there's meh beer, and there's bad beer. And this goes in that good to great category. This is hitting the style marks. I like that. I'm, I'm excited for that. I, I can dig. It's simple. But it certainly hits the marks for me. So that, that's, that's all I ask for, man. Because sometimes you only have a beer. You might only have one beer that day. That's your only beer. And you want it to be good, right? It doesn't just have to be your favorite style. You're like, oh, pale ale. You want it to be good. You want that bitterness. You want that kind of bready toffee notes. Yes. All right. Good job, Bench. Cheers. You know, if it wasn't for that wind, it would be a ridiculously beautiful day. But it kind of is anyways, because any day you're outside is a nice day. 